Epistles of His Promises by Rachel Osebonsu. I thought it was a figment of imagination when they say some unborn babies run in their mother's womb until I witnessed several spontaneous kicks on Freeman's pregnant belly as if the fetus was fighting in a boxing ring. Many thoughts raced through my mind to the moment the professor, Azuma Nelson, led Jeff Fennick on to the slaughter and opened fire from all guns and rifles in intense body punches till his brilliant boxing brains brought blazing and stinging double left hooks that dazed Jeff to the flying sledgehammer of right uppercut pamel, which sapped his energy and sent him to the floor in their second bout. As a spam, we said more America would two years on Fafua who echo shea who could see a Danny Nin Sensubanoa and our detina of Nomu. Ain't it Sebasa? No, mammy, any menina. Now, all born in Sano, then so now we need for two four. With facial attention, Mama endured the physical discomfort and emotional distress till your spin was over, and this was a lot until your journey to the world began. You know, Yampo, the straw that broke the camel's back was a car accident which compounded her pregnancy complications. Yet, she devised every strategy to protect and kept me in there till delivery. Ubet me a yo di fwone. Na enso, akumapa, odo, eni adwimpa, ma ame edo kura wu awu chayamu abosome yon krono diye, wutu min tuyaka. Enti, ma ame wo hunwa kwe nyase, ube kai se, na hunwa deni, eni ni nkwamu, ena wudidi ye eko si se, odi ube chile yu yase. At your departure from the womb, your big head stretched her cervix, vagina, and vulva to form the bed canal for a smooth passage to the entrance of life, where, like a traveler left stranded at a transit point with a cancelled flight, you delayed for about 12 hours waiting for the full 10 centimeter dilation to usher you into the land of all mortals. Her traveling movements generated a wailing sound that traveled far away as she shed multiple tears of sorrow. Though exhausted but still impassioned, with excruciating bed pains between life and death brought you forth. Sadono, now to say, Gia Edamo Reso. Now, so Mammy Eden Crea at Toho, a year would you for Edane Sam Frama, if she will cry free or won some, a command, Qua, Edi Chess, say, or Dobia and Chancer will be in the crab to her Amanunia. And I couldn't agree more with Barbara King Solver that sometimes the strength of motherhood is greater than natural loss. Mama's world revolved around you as a baby, and she paid a high price to safeguard and preserve you. Indeed, she was compelled to drink your urine and eat your feces anytime you peed or defecated in her food, fearing the myth that tragedy might befall you if she threw the food away. Until you reverse the hands of time to that moment and change the status quo by preventing her from eating that contaminated food for you to carry your bad open around in your journey of life. Nothing under this sun can compensate that sacrifice. As a toddler, your cognitive, emotional and social development gravitated towards mama because her image was engrafted in your memory such that your young mind could identify her in the midst of many and her voice arrested your ear with rapt attention. If we say, Uhu or Bra or Fermu, a prepared the physiological needs of Maslow's theory, a man in Ma and Opa, a via any anajo. To set a cabrania, all the dinning tinimu, a bread child, no ma, a pruny vidium, no ma anti. Heat consumed her in the daytime and cold at night, and sleep fled from her eyes. If we say, and sir, any adumano, any di, anti, one qua, no ma a buada. What the Akumapa Esha and Nobo said, we were a finu da, a we are seeing. Obey your juma day, I'm another care mu as a damn pa at the natum, and son of a corner your phone chain. When you could don't be a dream set, when you see cow better to cacop on Pabua Amana than Tim, Afamawa Amana Summon, a strain and cupon shira and in quatentine at the man. About say an idea and sign yet Nelson Quanta Ayrano, about say an a winning yet Nelson was stuck with ya. I'm a mammy, I don't know what town for, who pine a crumb for set or the Mika Echum Udanchi. Not the idea why any old deno or the yano. What happened to your zeal and passion for your mother? What quenched your fire and your determination to defend mama to the core? How did it escape you that we live in a real rough place, but your mother kept you straight and raised you to look people in the eyes and respect them? And that your mother's whipping meant you didn't end up like others, as quoted by Evander Holyfield. Akuko na itiabo, 
na enkumba it beats her imagination and also breaks her heart how soon you forgotten your vow to wipe her tears of suffering and your pledge to compensate her struggles she looked up to you as her heritage and a reward like arrows in the hand of a warrior mama hoped you to be the arrow in her youth and a crown at her old age now so oh mama means a si form you've covered mama's hair with ashes and tore her on it robe so she bwa and twen twen ni masi fanya na msa wan she bwa sin se obe she bwa na wan ma for a hope deferred makes the heart sick and justice delayed is justice denied please take a short trip to the maternity ward in the children's hospital to observe the restlessness and trauma mothers go through for their children and be careful not to bite the finger that once fed you by denying her the prize for her price anya sir now what intends you to form as i do touch the mafa indeed if her pains and sorrows at your birth is greater than your pains and sorrows at her death you have shot changed the womb that carried and fed you for 9 months and gave you life Kindly consider your mother today. Spare no effort to right the wrong and please have the goodness to keep your promise to mama. Puisa, na sumiye emawagne.